How's it going everyone? So today I'm gonna show you how to laser engrave a logo onto a knife, the blade of the knife. I'm actually gonna do it right here. Well, I'm gonna do both sides, just kind of show you some things that I learned as I was doing this one actually. Um, with the fiber laser, it kind of gets a little tricky. So there's three ways you can etch the knife. Polishing is one, etching, marking, and alien. And that's just black, and that's what I try to shoot for. Uh, but so on the blade see how there's a different curve right here so it gets to be tough on there because you're changing the heights so to get it so it's a smooth black like consisting over and it's not an etch into a black it's really tricky and I'll show you what I did for this guy I already sent his five knives off um, but I did one etching and then I did the other one. I didn't do polishing. That's the other thing. Polishing, if you have something like this, don't even try it. it, it will, it'll never work. Polishing is so precise that it, it's got you better off with a flat item. So let's throw this in the laser. I should probably stop whipping this thing around. <laughs> let's throw it in the laser and I'll walk you through what I did and we'll get it going. And that is the jig that I use for these knives. And I also want to mention the the knife that we're doing. I actually did this. This was a, actually quite a big job for a, a really big wedding um, for for a couple in Colorado. And I did it two years ago. And I ordered these knives from a company and my supplier that I ordered my other ones from. And they sent them out and they actually sent out the wrong ones so i had a bunch extra and they told me to keep them and for to sell and they said sorry and i'm like well, I don't, i'm not gonna list only a couple of these because they don't even sell them anymore so well so yeah let's get etching as you can see in here i put the knife i took a picture of the knife and i made it to exact size so see how the tip the picture is exact size and I put this in that spot where I know the knife will etch. So I know that it's right here because I already did a couple of these. So what I'm going to do is I took the logo and I put it up here. Now here is the logo that we're going to do on there. Now some of you are going to ask, well Matt, how come you don't use sear mark? Well great question. If I use sear mark on this log cabin as you can see you have little lines right here in between the logs that are white and the logs are dark over here it's the opposite this would be fine but over here the sear mark there's a there's a overlap <clears throat> from the heat and it will cover it up and you won't see those little lines so you're better off doing it with the fiber so let's take this and I'm going to show you what just regular etching looks like. So we'll just do a deep, nice, deep etching. Okay, so you wanna hit Control P, select Fusion, go up to Preferences, and we're gonna click Fiber. We're not gonna do Autofocus because I'm gonna do it myself manually. We're gonna pick Raster, 24 by 20 is the bed size, zero or one frequency, power is 100%, Speed is 50%. We're going to leave the dittering at standard. Hit OK. Hit print. And let's try that out. So as you noticed in the picture on the computer, I had the knife in like so. So, what we're going to do differently is, because I know what this is going to look like. So, let's see. We're gonna go like this. So I know it'll etch right there. And then I put a spacer, it's about an eighth inch underneath. So this way I know it's gonna be level. And go until that moves. Watch for it, it's gonna move. Yep, all right, that's all we need. Now let me remind you, this is gonna be opposite, so it's gonna be upside down on the blade, but I'm just doing it as a trial so you guys can see the difference. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so now it's all done. So see how it's really dark down here? And then up farther it's lighter and it's almost like a polish. So if you wanted it even darker yet, you could have went slower like 30 and it'd come out like almost like black. But you'd really feel it. So what now let's try the to get it where it's black. So what I'm gonna actually try to do, see if this will work. But I'm gonna try to put that spacer on this blade part to kind of tip it, you know, so it's like that, where maybe it can etch the whole thing a nice black solid color. Okay, so it's touching there. Let's see if we're touching up here. Oh, just barely we're not. Okay, so what I wanna do is slightly move this block back. Move that up. All right, just touched. So now to get the black, the nailing, you wanna go to, wanna add point one zero. You can add or subtract it, it does not matter. close enough. So now let's run it and it should come out black. Okay so I put in the settings. Now everything's the same settings but the speed. The speed is the only thing that has changed and we had to slow that down to 10%. So it's going to take a little bit. And there we go. All done. And that one took just over three minutes. So it to focus. See how that one's a black and it has like a shine to it? That's annealing. So that's how you laser engrave or fiber, laser fiber engrave onto a knife, uh, etching it or annealing it. And like I said, polishing, I'm not even gonna bother for one, the for the main reason it's because it's not a, a flat surface where it varies so it won't it won't turn out um, but yeah it's the fiber it can be faster on the etching part but far as the making a black uh, uh, annealing is the sear mark is way faster and that is the LMM 6000 that is way faster. You can save a lot more on time. The only thing is you got to spray it and you have an extra cost, which that adds up. And so if you can get away with it, you're better off using the fiber and going that route. So I hope this helps some people. And, uh, and also I wanted to say thank you to Homesteading Northern Michigan for ordering these knives. He's doing a giveaway. Thank you. And if you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down below. Glad you got to see me again. <laughs> Bye.